in this question, let A be a positive number. So let F have the domain from 2 inclusive to infinity and the function f of x is equal to a minus x and let g have the domain minus infinity to 1 inclusive and g of x is equal to x squared plus a and you have to find all the values of a for which fog and goth both exist. Now these are composite functions and all a composite function is is when one function is substituted into another and for it to be able to be done for it to be able to be substituted into another function, the range of that function g, for example, in this one, to be substituted into f must be contained in the domain of f. The range of g must be contained in the domain of f. And for this one, the range of f must be contained in the domain of g. So what you have to do in this problem is figure out the range of g and then from there check out what a is going to be for the, that range to be contained in the domain of f and a similar thing for this. From there you'll have two values of a and you've got to figure out what the intersection of those values are. So that's all going to make more sense when I start working through the steps. So really the key thing here is this both exist that is automatically telling you well you're going to have to check that the range of this second one is in the domain of the first one and similar for this one. So that's the key bit of information there which kind of tells you where you've got to start. So the way I like to set up each problem is first of all to set up each function with its domain and range. So f of x is equal to a minus x and the domain you're told is from 2 to infinity and its range and a little sketch here helps. So this is a linear function, negative gradient of 1 and y-intercept of a, so it's doing something like that. And it's starting at x equals 2 and heading off towards positive infinity for the x values. So from that, you can see that the lowest y value on this part of the graph is going to be minus infinity. And the highest value is going to be this value here. And the coordinates of that point are x is 2 and to find the y you just sub x is 2 in here and you get a minus 2. So this is a pair of coordinates and uh, this is going to be an interval. So the highest value is a minus 2 because 2 is included, square bracket, this is a square bracket here as well. So that's f done and then g, g of x equals x squared plus a and its domain is this one here, minus infinity to 1, and square bracket on the 1, and then the range. And most of the time you do have to draw little graphs for this type of question when you're figuring out the range. So it's a good idea too. And x squared plus a, so this is a parabola centered on the y-axis, like with a vertex on naught, naught, and then it's moved up a, so you're going to get something like that and it only goes up to x equals 1 so that's coming up again to the value x equals 1 and this y intercept right there is a so you can see from that, that the lowest value of y is a and the highest value it's heading up towards infinity so that's round and that value of a that's included on that graph so that's a square bracket and there are the ranges figured out so next step, figure out FOG or, or you need this bit of information first, FOG to exist, the range, so for it to exist, the range of G or range of G must be contained or is a subset. I like contained, it kind of gives you a better idea of what's happening within the domain of F. So the range of G is this one, so from A to infinity. So writing that down again, and the domain of F is this one from 2 to infinity. And then what I like to do is down here, just go domain of F from 2 to infinity. So here's 2, and it's heading off to positive infinity. And the range of G is this one a to infinity so for that to be contained within this one 
the value of a can be anywhere from two onwards. So in other words, if I put that there like that, so its lowest value is a and highest infinity for that to be contained within that set of numbers, this can be two or more. So therefore, a can be greater than or equal to two. So that's our first bit done. Now for Goff, similar working, for Goff to exist, the range of f must be contained within the domain of g. Range of f is this one. So minus infinity to a minus 2. Domain of g is this one from a to in. Whoops, domain of g is this one. Minus infinity to 1. And then setting them up, I'm going to put this one at the top. So domain of g from minus infinity up to 1. And I'll put 0 in there. So minus infinity and then setting up the range of f from minus infinity to some value. So can only go as far as that one, but not any further. And again, that zero, except this one here is a minus two. So for th these values to be contained within those values, a minus two can be one or any number smaller than one. So therefore a minus two is going to be less than or equal to one. Solving that by adding 2 to both sides, you get a less than or equal to 3. And therefore, for both of them to exist, you're going to have the match or the intersecting values of a less than or equal to 3 and a greater than or equal to 2. And that's simply a is more than or equal to 2 and less than 3. And that's the answer to this question. So again, key things, this is always the domain for composite functions to exist. You need to check out the range of the second one is contained within the domain of the first one. Easy way of remembering this, it's like D and R. So those two are in alphabetical order. So it's always the range of this second one containing the domain of the first one. That's a nice, easy way of remembering that. And that's uh, you've got to pay attention to what the graphs look like when you're working out ranges of functions that's really important that applies in many uh, parts of the maths you're doing and um, it's always a good idea you get better at doing your graphs if you just always draw a graph and you'll just find they're really easy to do by the end of the year so just those few key things for this type of problem and that's about it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.